for us. Yeah. This issue of protection and protecting the woman, it cannot, some may argue, make it extremely inconvenient for a woman as well. Like, for example, the hadith that says the woman can't travel without a mahram, without mm-hmm. a guardian, so to say, yeah. a male guardian. Can you see why that might be inconvenient for many women, especially now that traveling has been made so easy, yet they can't just easily travel from city to city or far distances? Mm-hmm. I can see how it could be inconvenient, definitely. Uh, but I believe that everything in Islam has a wisdom, right? We said one of the principles yeah. we started with is hikmatun baliqa. Allah Azza wa has infinite wisdom. And uh, in cases of necessity, there is a different ruling here. Okay. Because the ruling here of a woman not traveling, the Prophet said, that it's not permissible for a woman who believes in Allah in the last day to travel without a mahram. Uh, that is a, a, an established ruling in Islam. But necessities have their own rulings, right? So if it's a necessity for her to travel without a mahram, mm. then that's a matter which a necessity is, is not included in any of the rulings of Islam. Necessities, they're in all of the rulings of Islam have exceptions to them because of necessity, right? Yeah. Whoever eats from the haram, Without in a state state of necessity, without going back to it or go or eating more than they need to, there is no sin upon them. So we're not talking about necessities. We're not talking about a woman who, for example, she needs medical treatment and she can't travel because she doesn't have a mahram, so we just leave her to die. Islam doesn't say that. Inconvenience, yes. Hmm. But then it, in that regard, inconvenience in return for the pleasure of Allah is worth it. And we all do that, men, male and female. We all do things that are uh, that uh, have inconveniences. Like getting that, out of bed for Salat yeah, al-Fajr, for Like example. getting out of bed for Fajr, or like making wudu in the morning at Fajr time when the water's cold. We go through that because we we know the rewards that exist from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala when we obey Him. Mm. And ultimately, there's a great wisdom. And I honestly believe that a woman traveling alone, uh, there may be situations in which a woman can travel alone and not be harmed. But a lot of the time, if we say that, remember we said the ruling, uh, Sharia looks at al-ghalib, al-sha'i', not al-nadir. It looks at that which is most of the time and commonplace. And I would suggest that most of the time, a woman who is traveling on her own, if you look at history and you look at even the world today, in most countries, you look at a woman just on her own, that like that traveling, like a backpacker, she's just walking around this, you know, a city by herself. Yeah. There's a lot of danger in that. Yeah, potentially. More than with a man. But and that's the ghalib. No, no, yeah. I think that's the ghalib. That's no, but the I'm, not, I'm not sure that that's valid because nowadays you get on flights and you're not alone. You're with other people. But we're, Islam is saying you can't even get on a flight even without flights, your husband. Even on no, flights. No, I'm not sure that's the case. Even as the flights, majority of women, as there's really believe, many non-Muslim women who would travel around on a flight yeah. from one country to another country, they're not and I believe, No, and I believe that there's a lot of un-Islamic things happen in that situation. Mm. A lot of exposure to things which true. are not Islamic in that situation. True, true, that is true. And I, again, you know, at the end of the day, Islam doesn't say that, that, in fact, there are hadith that indicate that a woman can make, that there will come a time when a woman can travel in safety. But that doesn't change the ruling of Islam because there are harms there, whether you perceive them or not. And to be honest, I think even, even on flights, and I, I travel a lot, I take okay. a lot of flights. And honestly, you can see when women are traveling by themselves in many situations, not every situation. I'm not, I don't need to prove every situation. I only need to prove that this is commonplace. Yeah. That things happen 